Well, we got a pretty big update on some of the casting news for Superman and Lois in Superman Legacy. But the same report revealed some other castings and some major future DCU heroes will indeed appear in the movie, and they've never appeared on the big screen before. Let's take a minute to talk about The Authority. Well, the other day, we got a full-on report on who the new Superman might be. Apparently, we're down to some screen tests and there's some very familiar and really great names on the list. But in that same report, they slipped in a couple of other details that people didn't notice at first. They made it pretty clear right now they are just casting Superman and Lois, and much of the supporting cast will come after. This includes Lex Luthor and members of The Authority. Now, The Authority is one of several movies that is going to populate the new DCU in Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters, and is set to come along in the schedule fairly soon, shortly after Superman. Now, the team The Authority was created by Warren Ellis and Brian Hitch, and they are basically a group of heroes who take matters into their own hands and do what they believe is right, no matter what. This often sets them in opposition to several heroes since they've joined the DC Universe, including Superman, but they are a pretty cool team and something we've never seen before in live action. The original team consists of the members Jenny Sparks, Jack Hogmore, Swift, Apollo, Midnighter, The Doctor, and The Engineer. But there have been several iterations of the group, most recently in Superman and The Authority, so it's really hard to tell which members will come to life and which members will show up in the film. Quite honestly, I do not expect The Authority to take up a big role in the movie, but I do expect them to be some pre-established heroes and already part of the DC world before Superman starts making his big appearance. Often known as the Big Blue Boy Scout, I can totally see how Superman could stand in opposition to the Authority, and I do wonder if some conflict is brewing between the group and the Kryptonian that could have its seeds planted in this first film, only to manifest potentially in the Authority movie or in a film that hasn't been announced. Remember, we had a list of movies that James Gunn denied that included Superman vs. the Authority, which is something people have been talking about since James Gunn announced the first chapter of the DCU, and given the fan enthusiasm, something I do think possibly would happen. Obviously, we don't know which members or how many members of the group are going to show up in the movie or what their exact role will be, but you can rest assured James Gunn has big plans for these characters in the future, and they will impact his DCU in a way that's going to be unexpected. What that exactly means, well, we're going to have to wait and see.